Hello everybody, thank you so much for watching another video. What I do in my videos is I review and compare Hot Wheels and then I pick which one is my favorite one. In today's video, I am going to compare the 2020 Toyota Tacoma, as we see right here, against the 2019 Chevy Silverado. Beautiful truck. And the last contestant is going to be the Tesla Cybertruck. And the reason I am putting the Tesla Cybertruck against these two is because the Tesla is so unique that I don't know what else to compare it to. <laughs> and since basically it's a truck, right? It's a Cybertruck. I don't know if there is any other trucks that I can compare the Cybertruck to. So I thought that maybe the closest match would be to the typical big muscular muscle trucks that we have right here so let's begin with this the first truck that i have right here is the 2020 toyota tacoma is a beautiful truck with a burgundy color and this is a pretty big truck let's open this up so we can get a closer look and there you go there we have it beautiful 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 nice truck i like that the tires are pretty big right this is something that you usually see in this in these trucks in real life uh it doesn't have a window either it doesn't have a window or they probably rolled it down I honestly don't know what the purpose of not having a window here is because it's not like you can move something inside. I understand when the cars are bigger because sometimes you can move the, the wheel, like the steering wheel and stuff like that. But in this case, you can't, right? So there is no purpose of not having a window. But it looks nice. It looks nice even if it doesn't have a window right there. We do see that it has a window on the back and we see that it has a window right here on the sunroof uh the front is very very nice one of the things that sometimes um don't like about hot wheels is in some vehicles they don't really do that much painting in the front and back and in this one they did we see how the toyota is actually very well painted the toyota letters right here it doesn't have the logo I don't know if in real life it's supposed to have the logo or if it has the letters. I honestly don't remember. But we can see the headlights right here, very well painted. We can see, let me see if I can try to focus more. We can see all the detail that they put on the headlights, which is really nice. I don't know if this is paint. I don't know if it's a sticker. I'm pretty sure that it's paint. And it's just a really nice truck. We can see right here, this one's right here too pretty nice we see the hood very nice hood i really like this part because it adds more detail to it these parts right here at the bottom look really nice so very nice truck very very nice truck i like the wheels pretty big we can see them right here it's a four door so extended cap uh the back this is what i'm talking about Usually Hot Wheels doesn't add a lot of paint, but in this one they did. And this is something that they would probably do in their premium uh, line. And then they try to sell it to you for $5 to $7 because of these extra details of painting the headlights or the headlights. In this case, they did it. And I paid, what, $1 and a couple of cents for this truck. So that shows you that Hot Wheels doesn't necessarily need to charge that much just for a couple of extra paint. We see it right here. We see the letters right here. Really nice. I don't. I think the letters are supposed to be here, actually, if I remember correctly. I don't think they're supposed to be at the bottom. But anyways, the lights are very well painted really really nice and i'm gonna see if i can try to focus on the letters right here nope i don't think i can focus that well but anyways it has some sort of letters so very very nice truck 
this is really nice we can see that it has two different colors the black right here and the red right here this is very very nice truck we see that it has windows in the back it's not open like this they actually put like a plastic for the window very nice truck beautiful beautiful truck i am trying to focus there you go beautiful truck that we see right here and i just love it i really love it man i am having a hard time trying to focus the camera there you go beautiful truck really really nice all right so let's drive it to our shop there you go i'm gonna give you guys next time a tour this is the car wash this is uh, to change the tires uh this is where they have the tires i guess and but right now we are going to drive it through the back right here oh it flipped there you go we're gonna put it up oh it fell <laughs> All right, second try. Let me try this again. I am trying to reach. There you go. See, it wasn't that hard. All right, so we're going to put it right here. Right now, the Toyota Tacoma. Right now, the Toyota Tacoma is in first place because we haven't reviewed the other ones. The second truck that we are going to review is going to be the 2019 Chevy Silverado. Another big truck beautiful truck as we see right here this is from the baja blazers really really nice truck and i like the picture as well and the paint really matches the hot wheels which is cool because sometimes the paint is completely different than the picture and i like that it matches in this one so let's open this up there you go another beautiful big truck this is a nice truck i really love all the the paint work that they did on this one really 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 nice uh the wheels are black the rims i don't know if it would look nice if they would have added another color but i actually think that it looks cool like this because it makes it look more more mean more powerful right very very intimidating truck now this one unlike the toyota tacoma doesn't have that much paint in the front it's basically plastic molded uh i guess all the budget for the paint went on the side and on the hood because on the front it doesn't really have anything it really makes a big difference when they paint it in the front. Just look at the difference. It really adds a lot of detail when they paint the headlights, when they paint the letters or the logo. It really adds a lot of detail. In this one, unfortunately, they didn't do it. But it's still a really nice truck because you can tell that they focus more on the paint for the sides because the tacoma doesn't really have any paint on the side so basically all the budget for the paintwork was here and if we actually think about the paint even though it's not painted on the front they obviously used a lot more paint on this car or on this truck than on this one because on this one they only paint the front and the back and even though it looks really nice it's a lot less paint than what they use for this truck for the chevy silverado really nice really really nice truck we can see some details right here this it says s type it's either s type or five type i'm pretty sure it's s type on the back as I mentioned before, they didn't do any paint work. Um, it does say Chevrolet. You can see the letters molded. This is die cast, by the way. Only this part, only this and the front are plastic for the body. 
uh, everything else is die cast and you can see that it has the Chevrolet letters molded but you can't really see it unless you pay attention because it's not painted and this is one of the details that would make a lot of difference if it was painted but unfortunately they didn't paint it but it's still a really nice truck honestly the Chevy Silverado looks very very big and intimidating this is a really big truck if we compare it next to the Toyota the Silverado is bigger not by a lot but it is bigger right it's more intimidating it looks more powerful and the paint helps it a lot the only thing i wish is that they would have painted at least at least the lights the headlights this is what i wish they would do but anyway so far so good let's drive it let's focus the camera and let's take it for a drive to the top of the shop there you go perfect now the question is which one do i like more let's get them back now you know what let's review the the cyber truck and then after reviewing the cyber truck we are going to see which one i like more from the three of them all right so this one is the tesla cyber truck it made really big news when um elon musk did the demonstration and the windows were supposed to be uh really strong like he tried to break it um what was it i don't think it was a hammer it was something else and it wasn't supposed to break but it did break so that really went viral uh, apparently it was already defective and that's why it broke because it's not supposed to break but anyways i remember watching that video and i'm pretty sure you did too anyways the cyber truck really futuristic type of truck it's not your typical body molds that we see on other trucks like in the toyota or in the chevy silverado but it also looks kind of intimidating now my understanding i haven't seen one of these in real life but my understanding is that they are actually not that big compared to these other two trucks i don't know i haven't seen one in real life uh but this is a nice truck it's it's hard to compare it to other trucks because the the body mold is very original it's very unusual you don't really see trucks like this you usually see trucks more like that like the chevy silverado and the toyota tacoma those are the trucks that we normally see we don't really see trucks like this driving on the street so it's really hard to compare them to the other trucks but after all it's still a truck so we have to compare it to trucks and this one doesn't have any paint at all not paint whatsoever and i think that at least they should have painted the lights but they didn't do that i don't know if he has the logo actually i don't know if in real life if the actual truck it's supposed to have the tesla logo this one doesn't have anything literally nothing it's a really nice truck really really beautiful truck it's very it looks very futuristic very intimidating very powerful it looks i don't know i don't have one in real life um but it doesn't really have any paint it doesn't really have any paint and it's a nice truck now the question let's go to the main question which one do i like better well if we are talking about the mold and the body type this one i think the chevy silverado really looks intimidating look at this big truck it's it's just massive you know like this is a really nice truck 
compare it to the Toyota Tacoma, compare it to the Cybertruck, um, it looks big. It looks big. It looks intimidating. Even the, the tires, like if we pay a closer look at the tires, the tires of the Tacoma, they are lining up with the body mold. On the Silverado, they, they stick out. You see? Now, I don't know if... No, yeah, they stick out. Which makes it look even more intimidating. It makes it look... Even though the tires are the same size, actually. Actually, this is interesting. The tires of the Tacoma are a little bigger than the tires of the Chevy Silverado. But the tires of the Chevy Silverado are thicker. So these ones are bigger. These ones are thicker. And I think that this really adds to the, to the look of a more intimidating truck. So it's really nice. I only wish, I only wish they would have painted the logo or the headlights or something right just give us something i know that you spent all the budget on painting the the side but just look at the tacoma how nice it looks in the front because of the paint it really makes a difference when they paint the headlights when they paint the the logo or the letters in the front so now to be honest i don't think that the Cybertruck is my favorite in this video. So that's, that's just, uh, as much as I love the Cybertruck and probably in real life, I would be so excited to see one because like I said, I still haven't seen one in real life. But in this video, talking about these Hot Wheels, like my choice is based on the Hot Wheels. It's not based on the price of the actual trucks. It's not based on which one is faster, which one is better in real life. It's not based on anything like that. My decision is based purely on these three Hot Wheels. And based on these three Hot Wheels, the Cybertruck is not my favorite one. So let's take it back and we are going to put it in third place. I think I put it a little way too forward. There you go. So, third place, Cybertruck. Let's focus the camera again. The contest or, or the match is really between the Chevy Silverado and the Toyota Tacoma. And as much as I love how detailed in the front the Toyota Tacoma is, I try to use the stick because if I use my hands, uh, sometimes the camera focuses more on my hands than on the actual truck. So I'm going to try to use the stick. So even though I like how detailed it is on the front, and it's a really nice truck, but the, the Silverado is just intimidating. The Silverado is not a monster truck, but it's a monster. Like, really powerful truck. I love how the tires, they stick out. I, I really love this detail. And like we said, even though the tires of the Tacoma are taller or bigger, because these ones are th thicker, then um, it just really adds to it. So I think my favorite truck from this video is actually the Chevy Silverado. So there you go, guys. My personal pick is the Chevy Silverado. Which one do you like more? Was it the Chevy Silverado or was it the Toyota Tacoma? So thank you guys for watching this video. Good job to the Chevy Silverado. Really nice truck. Also the Tacoma is really nice, but in my choice for today's video is obviously the Silverado. Which one do you like more? Comment uh, below. We have Godzilla right here watching this video. And we also have King Kong catching a plane. So thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you guys did, please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this. And thank you very much. Have a good day and have fun.